Hey friends, it's me, the Ebony Otaku, the well-rounded nerd. Wasn't she wearing the same outfit in the last video? Yes, she was. You film them when you have time. So this is going to be a quick video. In my head, it's quick. We'll see. Um, but she's been Funko popping. Um, again, you know, I've told you about my, my relationship to the Funkos, uh, which a lot of people don't like them. Like, just outright like, well, hey, my, my stepdaughter hates these things. <laughs> everyone reacts differently for some reason like they're super polarizing um either people think they're super cool and they want all of them a few people you know like me they're kind of a passing thing like you love them for certain things but not others and there are people who just outright hate them but i guess it's everything there's nothing out there that's universally loved and accepted and yes i know y'all can see all the reflection of the daylight in my glasses but homegirl squinted a lot in the last video and I'm tired of squinting so y'all just have to see the reflection but I managed to come across a cool set of Funkos that I really wanted um because back there those are things that I would never just go out and get the figures for or I miss the boat like the one that I point to a lot is Adventure Time i found Adventure Time long after the height of its popularity um, and I wish I had seen it when it was super popular because I would have loved to have had Finn and Jake um, but I went searching for some that I would like and then also like Rick and Morty is a show that I would never buy figures for but I do like the Funko Pops I have a pickle I do have a pickle Rick back there can y'all see him where's pickle Rick pickle Rick there he is hey I'm pickle Rick um and I do have Tiny Rick as a Funko Pop. And I've, which Morty do I have? She's not going to go back there and look right now. But there's a Morty back there. But the Funkos came out with a couple more that I would want. So like whenever um, in the Rick and Morty show. If you, if you haven't watched Rick and Morty, it's a great one. If you like the Lower Decks, you'll like Rick and Morty. If you like Solar Opposites, you'll like Rick and Morty. Gravity Falls, anything in that. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Don't take it too seriously. Like... Oh, I love fans, but they're also annoying. That's why I had to quit, quit watching reviews of stuff. Because, I mean, no show is going to be perfect all the time. If you've never written before, writing is a very hard job. To con keep coming up with ideas that will keep people interested. I don't want to say new ideas, because there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, we're just always continually repackaging and reformatting for the current audience of the age. Um, but Brick and Morty went through a period where people were just is like, oh, it's the most intelligent show on television. Like, it's so well written, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, it wasn't as, I don't know, intelligent, heavy quotes here, um, as people thought it should be. It was like, oh, man, it's the worst. Rick and Morty's taking a nosedive. I've not experienced a season that I didn't enjoy. There have been episodes I wasn't a fan of. Look at, looking at the slut dragons. That one wasn't for me. <laughs> it's for somebody. It wasn't for me. Um, or, um... I liked half of the Mr. Nimbus episode. <laughs> but overall, I find the show enjoyable. Like, there's not, there's no perfect show. There's no perfect medium out there. Even in the greatest books um, that we love. Like, I love the Lord of the Rings books. I have read all of them more times than I can count. Same thing with The Hobbit. But even such an amazing writer as Tolkien, who created languages... Even his works aren't perfect. So if you're looking for perfection in like your viewing media, just give it up because that removes the ability to enjoy stuff. Like everyone knows I love Transformers so much. The Transformers movie is not perfect. I know, I know, right? Um, but it's good. It's enjoyable. That That's what matters. Um, it, if there's a plot hole, if, if there's a bad frame rate, like the original Sailor Moon series, thoroughly enjoy it did it need to be 200 episodes probably not because probably 30 episodes worth is just transformation <laughs> there's a lot of repeating and there's a lot of filler episodes and you know there's moments where the animation goes and you're like <laughs> you know that doesn't keep it from being enjoyable and fun so you know it just just learn to enjoy things for what they are even Funko Pops and if you don't like Funko Pop that's okay this isn't your video but if you do like Funko Pops, stay. It's a box. So I do love the Rick and Morty. Is this from Rick and Morty? I think it is. I don't know what's in this box. I only half opened it. 
But I went a Funkoing, and these Funkos have been sitting in boxes on my floor for, I don't know, a month, <laughs> maybe. I didn't have time to get to them or figure out where I wanted to place them on the Funko wall. Because, you know, the Funko wall is going up, and I guess I stopped collecting Funkos when there's no more space to go up the wall. But I was doing the scrolling. Oh, yeah, these are what I think they are. <laughs> I, I was, you know, I was doom scrolling, as one does. Um, and they came out with two more ricks that i that i had to have um so i've got i got tiny rick he's fun i love that's one of my favorite episodes I'm tiny rick. uh but another episode i think this was the first episode of rick and morty i got my husband to watch to, to match this guy right here I'm pickle rick. <laughs> so they came out with a pickle rick i could not wow this these funko boxes have changed he feels real sturdy. Like, this, this box feels really good. Like, the plastic is not that plastic. Y'all doing something different? Like, I'm not mad about it. It feels good. But, so here's the thing. There are two Pickle Ricks. So there's this one. As you can see, he's got his little... Um, screw knife things that he makes. If you haven't seen the episode, just, just go watch it. <laughs> it's great. Um, but there's another one that they came out with and I couldn't choose. So, this one, he's got his little screw guns. It, like, literally, it's a screw and, like, he goes, and, like, the stab. Yeah. He's, he's breaking out of his, whatever. You gotta go watch it. Selenia. <laughs> the Pickle Man. But then when he's, like, in the Russian base i assume they are or wherever it is um and he comes up through the floor and whatnot oh there's a jerry and a lawyer morty and a summer i'm not interested in jerry and summer and, and beth i just love rick and morty but there was also the one where he makes a little laser gun uh it had puts the battery in it he can like cut the dude's legs off and stuff like the best part of that whole episode is when he's uh, trying to get on the elevator and he has to hit that parkour hit that parkour yeah so I couldn't decide which one of these I wanted. So I got both of them. Are they not great? I kind of love them. Like, this is taunting Pickle Rick. And this is, I'm coming for you, Pickle Rick. So, I'm actually very happy about these. Again, I don't do Funkos for everything. Just the stuff that I wouldn't go get the actual action figures for. Um, or if there's not another way to get a figure for a property that I love. And these are so easy to store. But look, they're just I'll just keep stacking them up the wall. But wait, but wait, there's more. So these next couple of boxes, I honestly don't know or remember what's in each of them. I know that I did order Fiona and Cake. But I forgot from where I ordered them. <laughs> so... The box. This one is an Amazon box, and I think I've got some. Boy, she did not even open that a little bit. Um, you know, you see stuff, you impulse buy. Because Funkos are usually only twelve dollars. Oh yay! This is what I hoped it would be. Funkos are usually only like twelve bucks when they're brand new. So if you find something you want that's way after the height of popularity, you got to pay out aftermarket prices for it. Um, I thought I was a little closer with this one, but I'm still happy I got it. I paid more than you probably paid for this, uh, but I I really wanted it because um, I really love Adventure Time. And when they came out with Fiona and Cake, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the Fiona and Cake ones. I don't need every character, but look at that. I got, I got Fiona. How appropriate to open up the bunny ear girl on Easter. Um, there's, there's a thumbnail. <laughs> um, she's great. I really love, one of the things about Adventure Time that, that was also really good was just that ease of inclusion. You know, they didn't beat people over the heads with messages or, or anything like that. They just let the world evolve and let things come to their natural conclusion. And even, you know, the direct, if you've not watched Fiona and Cake, um, I, I personally wouldn't call Adventure Time a kid's show, even though they aired it on the Cartoon Network in the regular hours. I would have, that to me, that was an Adult Swim show, but whatever. But... If you consider um, the original show to be for kids, this one definitely has a much more grown-up aesthetic and storyline to it. Um, a lot of it is about the relationship between Betty and Simon. 
um, and him going through the universes trying to right a wrong, trying to find her, then wrapping up their universe, going deeper into the origin of their relationship, finding out that Simon was like a, you know, a decade older than her and she was a student, like stuff like that. So it, it goes a whole different direction. Um, the only other one that I would really love to get would be Bimo. I'm not so much a Princess Bubblegum fan. I know there are people, she's one of those polarizing characters. Either you love Princess Bubblegum or you're like, she's evil, she can go. I'm kind of indifferent to her because, I mean... She literally created life so she gets to do what she wants. Um, that's how that works. <laughs> I don't think I want lemon grab. But I just, I was very happy to be able to get just these two. Um, so that won't be an entire series. But one of these other boxes down here, although I don't know which ones, let's pick one at random. Should have cake in it. Should. Let's see what we got. I don't know where my multi-tool went. It's, it's in the office somewhere. I cleaned up recently. By clean, I mean got rid of boxes from stuff I'd opened. Um, oh, this is... Whoever wrapped this just really... <gasps> that's right. I When I saw her... I See, I forgot what I bought. Don't you love it when you surprise yourself? When I bought Fiona, there is one other character I really do like from Adventure Time. I stand her. I, I stand everything about her. And no, it's not tree trunks. Or Marceline. Wow, when they wrap stuff, they wrap it. Where do you even find this? I think I got this from Funko directly. It's an LSP. <laughs> Luffy Space Princess. I love her. I I just think she is a squeezy mart. Her shirt says squeezy mart. That's so cute. Um, I just find her to be just endearing. Like she doesn't mean any harm. I think she's probably the most honest character on the show. Um, she she tells people what she's thinking and feeling. I know her boy craziness is a little much for people. But I just find her to be so adorable and so endearing. And I, I, this one I only paid $12 for. And actually, looking at the box, it says it came from the returns department. So somebody bought this and sent it back. So now she gets to be mine. Um, so, I, oh, that makes me happy. And this one's actually from the original Adventure Time. It's not even from Fiona and Cake. Um, so that, that really, this makes me smile. I was so happy to find her. Just, if, it, if you like it, I love it. You know, just the little things make us happy. So this last little box here is going to have to be cake. So the gender bent side of um, Adventure Time is where Fiona and Cake come from. So as it goes in the canon of the show, Fiona and Cake are basically a story that Ice King made up. Um, but he doesn't know it. The way that they spun it in the Fiona and Cake show was it wasn't just that Ice King had made up a gender bent universe of adventure time, but it was actually a pocket universe that Prismo had created and they had come to life and he stuck it in Ice King's mind to hide it. But then once all that stuff happens at the end of adventure time with gold and the resetting of the crown and all of that, and Simon becomes Simon, all the magic in Fiona and Cake's world goes away. And it's kind of the, the build for Fiona and Cake. They were in a magical world and it becomes unmagic because the Ice King, Simon, loses the crown and they go on this adventure to like recover the magic, all that kind of stuff, the, their dimension hopping and the rest of it. Um, but Prismo basically is the creator of Fiona and Cake and he hid it in Ice King. And Ice King is telling the story in Adventure Time and writing it, but then it's its own thing when the new series comes out. So this should be cake. Yes, it is. I do love when wrapping is is really good. So now I've got I've got cake. So you know there's Finn and Jake. Jake the dog and Finn the human. The fun will never end. It's adventure time. I miss that show so much. Um but cake, you know, is is Jake. Jake cake. And then we've got Fiona. And kind of these are more special to me because I I'm a girl. <laughs> um but see, the box is all, oh, it's the outside plastic. This one doesn't have outside plastic on it. This one does. And so do 
the Rick and Morty. So I guess when they're brand brand new, so she must be used. Um, someone's already uncased her. It's fine though. The she's staying in the box. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I paid for these, but it was more than twelve dollars. Um, but I do love having them together. So like for some series, I'm not gonna go out for every single figure. Like I'm not gonna like look on the back of this and try to get every single one of these. It's not gonna happen. Um, but just to have these two side by side, fifty four and fifty five in this series, that makes me happy and smile. Um. It's the little things. And I, this was actually my Halloween costume last year. I went as Fiona. So she's one of my favorite cosplays. I've even got the backpack and everything. And the uh, I've got a blonde wig, you know, and the little, the little ears and all that kind of stuff. So how appropriate for Easter to open Bunny Ear Girl. And we got cake next to her. This is like the most rambly video ever, which is why it needs to be a short one. Because I've done two videos back to back. And Homegirl has Warhammer to go finish painting. I will say this, one of the things that I I kind of, I guess, if I have a goal for my channel, which I don't really at the moment, I'm just enjoying this, um, is to showcase that you can be a multifaceted nerd. You know, I, I've i always found it healthy to have multiple interests. So, like, I'll, I'll use Taekwondo as an example. I practice martial arts. Uh, tomorrow, after I'm done working, I'm going to spend two or three hours working out in the gym while my husband goes and plays Aeronautica. It's a more of a priority to me to go work out. Um, there are folks that I have practiced with and still practice with who think that, you know, Taekwondo is so important that's all a kid should do. And I've never had that mindset. When parents have talked to me about how much their kids should practice and when they should be there and that type of thing, I've always said to them, I said, children should have multiple hobbies. I mean, granted, multiple hobbies don't get you a Simone Biles or that, that, do you see that kid? I forget his name, but he's from, I don't know, like North Carolina or something, who, who landed these crazy moves in ice skating. I just watched that video. I, I cannot remember his name. He's got, I think his name's like Ilya. Like, he's got a really musically sounding name, but he just landed like, like, four, like, in a row, like, jumped up, spin four times, and land. Like, apparently that's never happened before, and he did them perfectly. Like, it was a beautiful routine. Anyway, but you don't get someone like that if they, they, you know, have too many varying hobbies. I, I get that, but the reality is, <laughs> you know, most of our young people, as talented as we believe they are, the sport or hobby you have them in when they're six is probably not going to be how they make a living. And it's it's good and healthy to have multiple interests. That's how you build a well-rounded person. I've always told, um, you know, the the parents of the kids that I teach, and even you know the adults that I that I that I have the privilege to teach, you should want to do more than one thing. If you're only laser focused on one thing, it eventually goes from being a passion to an obsession where you no longer see the enjoyment in something, you only see the flaws. Like, if I make a mistake in a Transformer video and I misname something, or um, somebody, you know, might remember something a different way than I did, like, to them, it's a huge deal. To me, I'm just like, eh. I like more than one thing. <laughs> because it's good to have varying interests, and that's how you grow well-rounded people who have empathy and respect for more people than just themselves <laughs> on the planet. Um... You know, letting kids, you know, yes, do Taekwondo two or three nights a week, but do dance, play soccer, read, art class, pick up an instrument, um, football, whatever it is, do multiple things. And when it comes to nerdity, you don't have to trap yourself into just one thing. I like my Funko Pops. I like my Transformers. I like Hayao Miyazaki. That's an Adventure Time Hayao Miyazaki poster merge. It's one of my favorite things. You know, I love the headphones, my nerdy hoodies, Hello Kitty, um, video games. I like old video games. I'm never going to stop playing The Sims. I don't care. The computer that it's on will never, ever, ever get updated because The Sims are working and so is Never Winter Nights and that's just how it is. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to like multiple things. It's okay. Um, if you don't get all of the things perfect, I think I said this in my last video, uh, the one I just recorded, you know, looking at Warhammer boxes, but y you, there's too much to know about any property, any hobby to be perfect in it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the growing. Enjoy the, oh, I found something that I really wanted or, ooh, a property that I've loved for a long time. I finally found a way to have a piece of it. Enjoy the fun of that. 
en enjoy finding out new information. Um, but try your best not to become that person that ruins things <laughs> for other people. Like half the fandom tried to ruin Rick and Morty. You know who you are. And I don't like you. <laughs> but um, all that to say, it's okay to like more than one thing. You can like Transformers and Sailor Moon and Princess Mononoke and Star Wars and Hello Kitty. You can like all of those things at once and it'd be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go place these new Funko Pops on the Funko wall, clear out this pile of boxes on my floor, and I'm going to go finish out a Word Bearers Kill Team tonight and uh, get them put in their case. I'm so excited. So this is probably going to go up on a Friday. So when it does, a uh, very late happy Easter because that's when I'm filming this. And as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.